Hey guys, Big Daddy Hoppin 1911 coming to you today, and I've got something cool here, some old school and new school. Take a look, guys. Yeah, I got some redneck ammo, and, some... and who makes this, Jason? D Duplex. There you go. Look at that. A lot of difference in the look there. Yeah. All right, so what are we gonna put this in? Oh, well, we got a shotgun over here. We'll put it in. We'll put it on the table and we'll show them. This is brand new. Mm -hmm. This is the caviar round by D Duplex. Right. It's pretty cool. We had we've shot. Uh, they make some crazy, crazy specialty rounds. Now this is oh, it's a slug too, right? Yeah. Dang man, that's gonna feel good. Yeah. It's well, pretty hot. Uh, I don't know. I don't. We'll, we'll look at the box. I don't know what the feet per second is, but we saw. I saw that at the NRA. Uh, convention they've been talking about making it for several years so basically it's a uh, a commercial version of the old school redneck wax slug yep all right all right let's go to the table all right all right here we go we got a lot of stuff on the table here buddy yeah all right so uh this is a d duplex usa I believe it's a uh, U.S. version of a Russian uh, ammo. We were they have uh, we were shooting these. These are crazy. They have these little tri cards. I think they were calling it. Like when you shoot, it just opens up. With I mean, just devastating. And they're designed for hunting, but a really good self-defense round too. Yeah. Um, and then. So that's from Russia, you say? I th I'm, I I want to say this is a U.S company but i want to say the original one is from russia if they got if anybody has any information or i could probably google it um i'm pretty sure it's russian i could be wrong though but these are awesome right yeah and then they were talking about they were talking about making this one for a while and at the nra convention i saw it and now this is this is a slug this is the caviar slug and basically what it is is a uh, factory loaded um wax slug and it looks like caviar. <laughs> it does look like <laughs> so. So this, I would use this for self-defense. Uh, this is going to do some insane damage. Uh, they had they had some. Uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of it and uh, put it in here. Um, but they had some gel and it went in about six or eight inches and just just decimated the gel. Uh, so I think that that is pretty darn cool. Yeah. Now this is uh, this is this is old school wax slug i think you got this from cletus right yeah yeah and uh so if you don't know what a wax slug is you can just google it yep um but it starts life out like this but this would make a while it would make a good self-defense round it's not advisable because you know then you're you know i, I say anything that's going to be uh, used for self-defense it should be factory yeah yep i agree don't you think yep okay so this is going to do the same thing that this is going to do, but, you know, not yeah. make you look like a crazy redneck. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what you're trying to say is, like, you said something about that one being from Russia. This sort of what these things messed up Hillary Clinton. <laughs> is that what Trump used? To, I don't know. I to, mean. To win the election or something? Uh. You don't know what to say to that. I do don't you? really don't know what to say to that. No, I don't either. But anyway, it sounded good. It was, yeah. it was starting out good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's cool there, buddy. So let's let's show them. So here's your standard your standard bird shot. We'll show you the difference between bird shot and uh, then the wax slugs, mm -hmm. and then we'll show you what the caviar does. Uh, and the cool thing is, uh, so these typically, you know. They can stick out a little bit, and if you put in a magazine-fed shotgun, just like a, a tube-fed um, uh, lever action, you know that's why all, all uh, lever action ammo until uh, lever revolution came out was not pointed, right? Because you could have an accidental discharge where that round hits the primer in the front and you have an explosion, right? Yeah. So I think we had the perfect shotgun for shooting these wax slugs at least. And this is the uh, Civet 12. Uh, we'll do a full, few, a full review on it here in a little bit, but this is a pump shotgun that takes Sega magazines. That's cool. So we can load these waxers in here, and we don't have to worry about them being finished off. Yeah. Right. So this it's, is. I'm still. I'm gonna smell this. You gonna smell? See, does it, it smell it, like caviar? Doesn't. 
No, it smells like gunpowder. Does it really? Yeah. All right, well, let's do this. Um, we'll shoot the caviar here in a second. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm putting two, two bird shot, and then I got two wax slugs underneath that. We're gonna shoot it and see the difference. Okay. And then we'll shoot some of the caviar, okay? Okay, all right. And that leads into a joke. I don't always shoot, but when I do, I shoot with caviar. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a stupid video. I don't right? know. <laughs> is that is that a saying? Oh uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got your ears on? Nope, not yet. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Bird shot. Alright. Bird shot. And now here comes the waxer. Oh! A little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. I must have just scooted it right through that hole. Uh, I, that's exactly what Is happened. that what happened? <laughs> Charles, let me see one more wax slug so they can see the difference there. There you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, that almost. Just, that just packs a punch, doesn't it? <laughs> Night and day difference between that bird shot yeah. and that wax slug. You can right. feel it. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at this caviar. I like caviar. So, would you say there's variances in here? I mean, each one of them probably doesn't have the same amount of lead in it or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. would say so. It's probably, it's probably not professionally professionally produced. Now this, on the other hand, every single one of these is exactly the same. You can see that there's a mold in there, and this is a, a poly, uh, polyethylene. Um, it's a form of uh, yeah, polyethylene, combined material, lead shot encased in polyethylene. So it's going to kind of be like a, uh, it is, it's hard, but uh, it's it's going to break apart. All right. So they're, they're probably going, this is like a factory loaded wax slug. So imagine, you know, loading something like this up for home defense, you know. You got this nasty thing in there. Oh, maybe you do this. How about this for the ultimate load? You got you got your uh, your factory loaded wax slug. Then you got this nasty broadhead. And then you do another waxer here. And then you do another broadhead. Oh my gosh, this is just devastating. What do you think about that? Yep, that's nasty. Nasty. All right. Safety. Oh my goodness, that hit hard. Yes, it did. Now here's that uh, broadhead. Okay. Oh! <laughs> well, that hit really hard. Yeah, here's another one of those caviar. Let's try this. Uh... Boom! It landed over there. I mean, we might be able to go pick it up. Here's a broadhead. Oh my gosh, with authority. Caviar. Let that gong. I want to hear it ring. All right. Boom. Boom. There it is. Let's go see if we can see what's left of it. It's still ringing. That's a sound of freedom, my friend. One of those caviars landed over here. Here you go. Here it is. There it is. Yeah. That's. There's no lead shot in there anymore, but you can still see that polymer. Yeah. That's cool. So it dumped the, the uh, ounce, of, ounce of lead into what it was supposed to do. Right. Well, they hit hard, buddy. Yeah, they do. Yep, look at those targets. You can tell where they hit. Yes, sir. That's a nasty round. Are these the, the caviar slugs? They are the caviar. So am I supposed to like shoot them like like with my finger up like that? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, let's rock and roll. Have you been to many caviar uh, parties where they serve caviar? I haven't and had any caviar in a while. You haven't had it in a while? No. No. Alright, here we go. That is really cool. You know what would really be cool? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know, it. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. It, it kicks your eardrum. Does it? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready now. Okay. I'm. I didn't mean to laugh. Ugh. Let's get the buffalo. Felt like church bells ringing here. It is Sunday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, that felt good, really. Yeah. I mean, yes. they got some punch. Yes, sir. And you can hear it. And it's a. Uh, you know, so if you ever wanted to use wax slugs for uh, self-defense. Uh, right then uh, that would be a bad idea. But uh, caviar does give you that option now. Well, I've always wanted to throw some caviar downrange, and today <laughs> I got my wish. Yeah. You know? Nice. This is cool. All right, we gonna shoot it anymore? Sure, we can shoot a little bit more. Okay. We're gonna give Charles a triple threat here. So we're gonna, he's gonna end his uh, little party with the caviar, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna give him three broadheads. Did you say redheads? <laughs> Broadheads. Broadheads. And then he's going to have a, a wax slug. You ever shot a wax slug before, Charles? No. Okay. Well, careful. Is it now. anything like a broad redhead? Yeah. yeah. That was waxed with caviar. That's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, Charles. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, buddy. It's a. Uh, your choice of targets here. I'll probably shoot the gong. All right. Or you can shoot the buffalo, the gong, anything you want. Where are you gonna be? I'm ready. You just you just shoot, buddy. Man, that's nice. It is Dang, nice. Uh, that's devastating right there. Oh yeah. Yep. That buffalo about jumped off that stand. You I see know, that? I know it sure did. It almost took him off. <laughs> all right. Not bad though. No, not at all. Yep. And the recoil wasn't that bad, right? No, no. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, Charles. You're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, we just want to give you a, a, a glimpse. We find cool stuff. We want to share it. So D duplex. Uh, the broadheads are cool for sure. They've got some, some super heavy uh, steel loads and now we got the caviar load. So I think that these are, you now they're going to be a little bit pricey, uh, 10 to $15 a box wherever you find them. But uh, that is just nasty. Yep. Give you some options, uh, especially this one here. Oh, well, this is, we shot all these. Yeah, so. I like it. Big Daddy approved? Yep. I'd say sweet, nasty caviar, shotgun shell pie, right? For sure. Yep. Yep. That's a good self-defense round, right? Yes, sir. Round, uh, All right. Guys, if you like this video, please like, favor, and subscribe. Remember to keep up the fight against gun control. And as always, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. All right, let's go shoot the rest of the stuff. Sounds good.